Ugh. All right. There was a girl. I could have sex with her, but you know, I, like I was drinking a lot and I was like, you know, like nothing happened. So if things were working, he would have done it. I mean, he did try to cheat the Olympics twice. Awesome. We didn't meet Patrick and Thais until a few episodes into the season. And when we initially meet Patrick, he seems to be a pretty normal guy. Except for, you know, getting kicked out of the Olympics. Before the 2012 Olympic Games, I tested positive for HGH, which is human growth hormone. A couple years later, I tested positive for dimethyl testosterone, another banned substance. His second offense ended his career, and he also ended up getting a divorce from his first wife. Single and alone in his house, he asked his brother John to move in with him. John, he helped me through a really tough time in my life, and he's one of the few people I feel like I can really count on. They lived the bachelor life for three years, but everything changed when he met Thais. I met Thais on a trip I planned to Brazil to reconnect with my dad. He's Brazilian, and he retired there eight years ago. They both swiped right on Tinder and hit it off. 11 months after I met Thais, I ended up proposing to her, and she said yes. These two actually seem to be in love, and it also turns out that they can speak the same language. I learned how to speak Portuguese because she doesn't speak barely any English. Chamo. Chamo. Being able to communicate without a translator app gives me hope that they can make it. Patrick also seems to have a steady job, even though I'm confused by how he makes a lot of money doing it. I am now selling home security door to door, and I manage sales teams throughout Texas. He says he makes around $1,000 a day selling alarms door to door, and John installs them. How is that a booming business? Door to door salesmen are really still a thing? That seems odd. And that's not the only odd thing about this couple. Apparently, Thais doesn't trust Patrick, and he has to check in with her when he goes anywhere. She checked my location, so she knows where I'm at. It says bar. Yeah, it says bar. Oh, so okay. She's not too not happy good. about it. When he said this, I had major flashbacks of Gino and Jasmine. We were given the impression through Gino and Jasmine's season that Jasmine was just a crazy, jealous girlfriend. And she was pretty crazy. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but over time, we learned that there was a reason behind her intense jealousy. Uh, I think I made a big mistake. Did you send her naked pictures of me? Gino was still talking to his ex and sending her nude pictures of Jasmine. It was gross and creepy. And now watching this season of 90 Day Fiance, we will need to expect that there is more to the story. We will not just assume that Thais is jealous for no reason. I will say though that she doesn't seem very trustworthy herself when she is finally introduced. Todo mundo sabe que eu tô indo me mudar para os Estados Unidos, menos meu pai, ele acha que só visitar e e voltar para Montes Claros. She lies to her dad and does not tell him that she's marrying Patrick in the U.S. How bizarre is that? And when she arrives, she admits that Patrick doesn't know the truth about her dad's situation either. I don't pretend to talk to Patrick that my father doesn't know about us being married. So he thinks that's it, but in fact, my father doesn't like him. Yeah, that's not good. Both of them seem to have some secrets, but their biggest issue taking center stage is Patrick's brother John living with them. I had already talked to Patrick before. Eu não gosto de ter colega de quarto. It's not just a random roommate, it's my brother. Thais entered the U.S. with what seems to be a permanent roommate, Colton Debbie style. At least Thais got flowers, though. What is the flowers? <laughs> no flowers, honey, I'm sorry. Mike the house elf wants to remind you to subscribe to this channel. Stash, give a Dobby a shock. Come on. Dobby is free. If you don't. He will appear in your room tonight to tell you he loves you. Come on. Hey! Yeah. Oh, yep. <laughs> Their 90 days with John begins, and the distraction puppy doesn't keep the peace for long. Beer? Beer? In the morning. So crazy people. No, cra crazy? Drink I know beer crazy. In the morning? No, 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 no. The tension between John and Thais is obvious, but they don't have a choice but to try to get along. At this point, it's hard to tell if John is just a harmless beer-drinking brother or not. He obviously wants his brother to be happy and is there for him, but they do mention past trauma a few times. Will his presence end Patrick and Thais' relationship, or is he just here to provide some comic relief? That steak scene made me laugh pretty hard. It's all that... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> all right, I flipped it on the ground. What is with this show and steak? John and Thais do try to get along. 
I will try to give uh, John a chance. But their sudden move to Dallas for Patrick's job has Thais realizing that John is not going anywhere anytime soon. John by Dallas Bay. I know if I came to the U.S. and planned to get married, I wouldn't want a roommate, but it seems like this was communicated early on. What am I supposed to say? I already said he could live with us. I mean, John's lived with me longer than we've been together. I'm guessing that the fear she has is that he will never move out, which is valid since there's no timeline being given. No. Whether she likes it or not, though, she does move down to Dallas with Patrick and John. It has a lot of space. Yeah. I was going to other house, so it's difficult for me. But she does have a lot of complaints about this very nice new house. So what do you think of the place? It's good. It's good, no? A little small. Small? Bigger than what we have in Montecleros. It's hard to afford to buy a house in the U.S. right now, especially in major cities. So the small comment makes her sound like an entitled brat. Live with it. I don't have any patience if, if Thais is dissatisfied with the house. Like, zero. I hope this has to do more with the fact that John is living there and not the actual house. At this point, Patrick had gained points for providing stability for spoiled Thais that she doesn't appreciate. But he loses points big time when TLC explains Thais's trust issues with him. I got something for you. A cell phone for America now. But? But what? Vou parar, você tem meu localização. Not going to lie, that was a smart but sneaky way to do that. I Aww. wanted to give you a present and I don't want you to have my location anymore. Mm. So, well, then don't take the phone. Do you remember earlier when I said that we would not assume that Thais is jealous for no reason? It feels bad when, you know, I'm with somebody and they're, you know, the love of my life and they don't trust me. Early in their relationship, Patrick cheated on Thais. John and I had a party at my house and there was a girl. I could have sex with her, but you know, I, like I was drinking a lot and I was like, yeah. you know, like nothing happened. So if things were working, he would have done it. I mean, he did try to cheat the Olympics twice. I felt really bad because like I was already in Brazil with Thais and like told her I loved her. And then like this girl happened. Oh, Patrick, I wanted to like you. Nós namorava seis meses. Eu olhava seu telefone e você estava conversando com quem? We got through a few episodes of the season before we found this out, and they even broke up over it at the time. So why in the first few episodes was Patrick painted as this do-no-wrong guy, and Thais as the jealous-for-no-reason girlfriend? That seems unfair. Se você me enganar, eu vou voltar pro Brasil, entendeu? And ironically, after this, John throws a party. And we know why Thais doesn't like when there are parties at the house. You know, because Patrick cheated on her at one. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am freaking out. This won't be uncomfortable or weird at all. No. Cool. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable with these girls coming to the house. Like, really uncomfortable. Thais pulls Patrick aside to tell him she's watching him. Let's just pretend that this party was just a coincidence, and the producers didn't plan it and provide all of the alcohol. I know and you are beautiful Brazilian. Okay, I don't like either of them anymore. Ugh. In the next episode, the drama continues. Here, take some cash. You don't have a painting on the wall? Go get a and we'll have to wait and see what other twists TLC has in store for us this season. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye!